Scotty Appleman from the Appleman Group here with Benjamin Thayer. He is a home inspector for National Property Inspections. I'm sitting down here with him, and I'm just going to ask him a few questions. And yeah, so Ben, what got you into you know doing home inspections? What got me in was more or less family. I had family in construction all going all growing up at Penn College. I went there for five years. Have three degrees in construction. When I graduated from Penn College uh, here in Williamsport, I met my wife my last semester of college. Okay. Um, she moved down to Maryland with me to be a, I was a general contractor. I'd gotten the job before graduation. More than half of what I did down there was basically punching out houses. Yeah. Worked on uh, everything from single family homes, town homes, and even a 356 unit apartment building. Okay. Um, and I was down there for a little over six years. Um, we had our daughter, Everly, and decided to move back because we wanted more support with family. Yeah. Um, and being a home inspector kind of rolled into a lot of what my skill set was when I was a uh, general contractor. Yeah, absolutely. Being knowledgeable of the structures and stuff of a house, like knowing the house inside and out. I, that's what you did. I saw them before they were in drywall, so I know <laughs> I know what's behind the walls. Yeah, right. That's probably super helpful like with you being in construction – and then yeah. now you're being a home, you know, you're a home inspector. So yeah. I'd imagine that's like super helpful because, you know, you have that knowledge of like how a house is built and all that sort of stuff too. Yes. So like, yeah, I bet that's super helpful. While it is very helpful, there are some times where I get a little too into the weeds because <laughs> I'm, I'm used to trying to problem solve and trying to figure out what the cause is. Yeah. Um, why is this doing this when it, it's, it's more a matter of it's not working correctly I don't 100% know what's where it is. Maybe we need to bring somebody else in to look at it. Yeah. But this isn't working correctly. We need to look at it a little more in detail. Okay. How do you go about like doing a home inspection? So, kind of intro is going over exactly the the rough guy the rough path of how it's going to go. So I welcome them. Um, go over. I'm going to spend about 30 40 minutes on the outside and the roof. Yeah. Then I'm going to come in, take some notes, and then go into the uh, go into the attic and basement and garage for again another 30, 40 minutes. And then the final segment is going through the houses, kitchen, bathrooms, living room, bedrooms. And then I can wrap up everything at the end. Um, they can either follow me along, uh, being right in my hip pocket, <laughs> um, just going over everything as I'm going through it, or they can take measurements for blinds and carpet or whatever yeah. they want and just get familiar with their house. And then I can go over everything at the end. Okay. Uh, try and be very flexible with that. Uh, my mindset um, for that, for doing an inspection is my goal is to more educate you on your home and less about finding problems. Yeah. Right. My, my, my job is to find and nitpick the house. Right? Yeah. Right. That, that's part of the job description. Um, but above and beyond that, my goal is not to scare you because the list can be long because these houses, a lot of the houses in the area are a hundred years old. Yeah. Right. They're on their third electrical system, yeah. third or fourth. So not every one of those was done by a professional. Yeah. Right. So finding little things, I, I can find 20 different things wrong with a house, yeah. but they're minor They're There's no ground wire. So maybe adding something here or there, GFCI is missing in these locations. So they're smaller, they're incorrect, but they're nothing to be really scared about. Yeah. So sometimes I, I straight ask the question, is there anything that you specifically had concerns about or are specifically scared about that I can try and put your mind at ease? Yeah. But my goal is, again, not to, not to scare, it's to educate. Yeah, absolutely. The previous owner had 20, 30 years in the house. Yeah. You've had 30-minute walkthrough. Yeah, right. So I'm trying to give you as much much experience in the house as possible. Yeah. That's a nice way to go about it because then you're, you know, like you said, you're educating the, the person that's potentially going to buy the house. You know what I mean? That's that's a good way to go about it, not just go out, go through the house and try to, like you said, scare people away. Like, yes. That's not what you want. You know, you just want people to get, just like you said, man, just get familiar with the house and, uh, you know, just educate them and make them aware of, you know, what is going on in this house. Yep. So yeah, good deal. What type of inspections are there? Like what, what services do you provide for, for home buyers and stuff like that? So just about every one of my services, um, first base is just regular home inspection. Okay. Um, 
but then I have add-on or ancillary services, depending on how you look at them. Okay. Um, most of the basic ones that uh, most inspectors have are uh, water, um, a pest or uh, WDI or WDO, depending like on how you say destroying it. Insects. Wood destroying insects, pests, um, water, and uh, a septic dye. Okay. Um, basically testing septic system, making sure there's no leaks or clogs in it, um, at least in the, in the leach field. Some of the other ones I have radon testing, uh, where I do a, I leave a monitor in the house for 48 hours, test the air over that whole time, gives you a reading of what's actually in the air. I, typically it goes in the basement if it's a potentially habitable space. doesn't have to be finished, but able to like, you have your laundry machine down there, so you're yeah, going right. to be down there. The other big one I have is I just started in the last uh, probably three or four months is mold inspections or well, microbial growth, not mold. Okay. Uh, mold can be a trigger word for a lot of people. Yeah, right. Um, and there's no way to really know if it is mold or mildew. Mildew is less dangerous. It's not really dangerous hardly at all. Mold is actually something that gives off spores that you breathe in. Okay. Um, and that's where it becomes a concern. So I have another little uh, monitor that I put in there with some uh, basically test strips or test uh, cubes um, where it pulls the air through and sees what's actually in there. Okay. It's not all potential microbial growth or mold-like substances can have a visual like specks on a wall or they don't have to be. There's no way to tell if it is actually mold until it's been analyzed. So you like, what do you do? Like, you like take a swab of it? So I can take swab, but really it's air samples because that's airborne is where it actually becomes a danger to your health. Right. Okay. So seeing it on the wall, it, it, it could be mildew that's there and just it's been in a the little stuff that grows around the bathtub that you didn't clean for the last month. Yeah, right. That's that's mildew. It's typically found in wet areas, so kitchens, bathrooms, windows. Yeah. When you start seeing it outside of that area, that's when it raises some red flags and maybe you want to get testing. A last uh, ancillary service, it doesn't get uh, used much with home inspection, um, but it's a separate, it's almost a separate thing almost entirely. Okay. With manufactured homes, they are pre-manufactured and engineered, meaning yeah. that they are built prior to coming to the site and it's basically what used to be called a mobile home. Yeah. Um, in 1978, they had their own, uh, they went through a basically a renaissance and became more engineered and more guidelines were set nationally. Uh, their foundations need to be certified by an engineer, a certified engineer. Yeah. Um, not just an inspector. Right. And because my company is uh, large, we actually work with an, a national engineer firm yeah. to where I will do us as inspectors will do a site visit, get 50, 100 pictures, very specific pictures, and look at very specific things that the engineer tells us that they need to look at. Okay. And then they get a report out within two days um, back to us, and we can forward on to whoever we need to, whether it's the um, home buyer that wants it, or it's a lot of times it is the mortgage uh, company that requires it. Yeah. They're very quick turnaround. Um, I've heard horror stories of getting a, a month to get an engineer out there, and the longest time frame is sometimes getting me on site. Yeah. Um, sometimes because they're required to get me the report back within two to three days. Wow. So from the time that I do the inspection, they're required to get it back to me within two to three days. We, there are other services that we're looking into in the near future. Okay. Um, we're always looking to improve our business. So what sort of equipment do you do you use to do these inspections, like? Like, you know, do you have like a radon test kit and, and stuff like that? or? So I actually have a monitor, a little white monitor that just gets plugged into the wall. I test to make sure that I have constant power so you can't just turn off a switch. Yeah, right. And I lose power to <laughs> it because uh, that has happened. I've had to go back to them. You learn the hard way sometimes. Yeah, right. But I can actually pull up the report during the inspection. As long as I get okay. the, the report, I get the monitor set beforehand. I actually have a an app on my phone. And I can pull up exactly what's in the home right now. If they're a much newer company, um, they've been very reliable, and customer service is great for us. Older ones, you have to go and plug the monitor into your computer, and then you can analyze it. And you don't really know what it is until you've done all of that. Wow. So I can actually pull the report up right here and almost, right from your phone. almost send it to you right from my phone. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, for mold, I have... Uh, what they call the egg. It's essentially a little oval with uh, an air intake 
on top where I plug my cassette into, and then it will run for f uh, about five minutes okay. until it has gone through 45 liters of air. Okay. Um, and that's the, that's the standard that the lab uses uh, to test the air sample that gets pulled through the little cassette. Do three of them in a house. Standard inspection is three, so it's two within the house and then one outside. I also have test swabs where I can take a spot if you really want the wall tested. Um, I take a swab and that is uh, that can be put in there as a fourth uh, sample also. Yeah, okay. Septic dye, I have what are basically what are UV tablets. Okay. They're a dye that gets put in. I uh, typically goes down the toilet. Um, I put three or four tablets in. I flush it a couple times to get the dye out yeah. of the toilet and through and into the system. So it makes it not just dye sitting in the pipe. Yeah, right. And then I run the water in the house for 30 or 40 minutes. Um, sometimes I'll just put one faucet on the entire time I'm in, I'm in the inspection to make sure I got water going out to the field and a lot of water yeah, right. to like test for a couple hours. Really, that's more than you're ever going to do in your home. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I have water constantly running for two and a half hours. And then I have a flashlight that goes with it. It's a UV flashlight. It's fairly high powered because I'm using it during the daylight. And I go and I sweep the ground with the flashlight and try and see if I see any dye come up. Pest inspection, there's not really much tools other than uh, knowledge and working with the pest control company that gave me all my training. I've done pest inspections for them uh, okay. when I've had time. I'm actually a I believe it's actually a certified applicator. I have to remember exactly okay. what it is. But through them, I'm actually, like, I have all of my training and certificate and everything. So that's cool. And it's it's funny because sometimes with, like, I, I've worked with other realtors, like seller yeah. seller's agents, and they're like, it better be a pest control company or something like yes. that. They're not like, I don't want a, an inspector going through there and checking it out, like, because they don't know. You I, know what I mean? I, so that's, that's awesome. So I've actually run into that where um, realtors didn't like the fact that I did my own. Really? Um but that's because other ones, other inspectors they work with don't have a BU number. So yeah, that, right. that's the certificate. That's their company um, identifier. Okay. So I have a BU number that I can actually put on my reports if I need to. It's like, hey, listen, I was trained and certified. Yes. Check me out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What areas do you service? Like, I know you're in the Lycoming County area. Yep. Like, where, where do you service from? From like, you know, like Lock Haven to Bloomsburg or, you know, what's so your area? I have a franchise of a national company. Okay. Close to 300 and... I believe it was 300 inspectors. They had something like 200 um, franchises across the U.S. and Canada. Okay. Um, my territory, um, where I have exclusive rights, um, are basically State College to Lewisburg okay. and, and up to the PA border. Best mistake I've made was, was accidentally getting a small vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little little sedan yeah. that, uh, that gets almost 40 to the gallon, so... I got no it issues. <laughs> no issues going long distance. Okay. So if somebody you know wanted a home inspection or you know wanted some services done from you, um, how would they get in touch with you? So getting in touch, uh, best is probably through phone call. Okay. So that would be the number that I have. Um, okay. The business number. Okay. That goes directly to my wife Veronica, my office manager. So Ben, you're obviously very knowledgeable about you know like how homes are built and and just what to look for when walking through a house and everything. So, um, what, but what do you think sets you apart from other home inspectors in the area? I, I think it really is partially my, my education, but what sets me and really my company apart is the fact that I have a vast uh, support network behind us. So for the company, it's the support network. There is a hotline that I can call um, close to 14 hours a day. I can call anytime I have a question and I have in the past. It's maybe something I don't 100% understand or haven't seen it before and I can bounce it off of the hotline. And there's also, we have a private Facebook group where there's 300 inspectors. Even if my couple of years of experience scares somebody, uh, I have close to 300 inspectors where I can ask a question and not be looked at weird for yeah, asking, right. even even if it's a, a, a weird question. Yeah, right. That seems obvious to most people that I can get 300 people and there's a couple of guys who are purely in there as mentors. Yeah. They're retired and they, they monitor that Facebook group and give their 30 years of experience. That's for the company and, and myself. It's really, I try and be very personable. I really try not to, I, my goal is not to scare or say anything along the lines of you shouldn't buy this home. Yeah, right. Because that's never my opinion. If it's your opinion, that's your opinion, but I will never give, I will never say that. Yeah, because it's it's at the end of the day, it's your decision. You general, you genuinely 
you know, are just like, okay, I want you to know everything you can about this house. I'm not here to scare you away or yep. push you away from this. So Ben, is there anything that you would like the people around here to, to know about you and your uh, inspection business? Uh, what I want people to know is we are very flexible. Um, okay. We're always working uh, to get the best scheduling done, timely scheduling, and then quick response with the uh, with the report. Have a vast experience um, in construction. Well, Ben, thank you so much for sitting down with the interview with us. And uh, I mean, I'm, if anybody wants any inspections done on their home, hit up Ben. He is the man to get a hold of. Background in construction. He has mad knowledge that anybody could use for understanding their home. So, Ben, thank you so much for the interview, man.